Distal biceps ruptures can result in chronic pain and profound loss of supination strength. In this video on your left shows a biceps deficient arm only generating 9 inch pounds of supination force while the video on your right shows an uninjured arm producing 42 pounds of torque. Surgical repair of the ruptured distal biceps tendon can reliably improve patient clinical outcome measures as well as strength. However, even following a successful distal biceps uh, repair, return of full supination strength to a full arc of form rotation rarely occurs. In this video, a patient had an anterior non-anatomic repair and notice the patient has loss of terminal supination strength as noted by a supination leg sign. To avoid this loss of terminal supination it is critical for the surgeon to understand the radial tuberosity anatomy. The biceps tendon attaches to the radial tuberosity just anterior to the apex. The apex is the arrow. The attachment site is the star. The attachment is just posteriorly to the radial protuberance which is noted by the arrow head. The radial protuberance acts as a mechanical cam uh, during forceful supination and this increases supination torque during rotation of the forearm. Further, the, the distal tendon is comprised of both a medial short head and a lateral long head. The two heads are continuations of the proximal muscle. The short head inserts distal to the long head on the footprint as you can see in the figure. The stars are the centroids or the center of each respective footprint. During our reconstruction we place drill holes in what we perceive as the centroids of each of the tendon. In a nutshell, a drill hole is placed in the centroid of both the long head proximally and the short head distally. The hole should be separated by 1.5 to 2 centimeters to prevent a fracture. The tendon is tied uh, to bone by the use of two intramedullary buttons. The buttons are flipped against the near cortex and docking sutures are pulled to press the tendon to the bone. An axial view of the repair clearly shows that the tendon reattachment site is posterior to and draped over the radial protuberance, allowing it to function as a supination cam.